top 10 movies of 2018. Lots of movies coming out in 2018. Everybody's putting out their top 10 lists, and some are similar, some are different. I think mine's a bit of a mix. We'll see. Number 10, I have Ant-Man and the Wasp, because Paul Rudd was great as Ant-Man, and I wasn't really expecting anything out of the first Ant-Man, so... Uh, number 9, The Predator. I totally forgot this movie was even happening. Uh, and to hear that they're coming back to the Earth as like a setting, um, that's interesting. Uh, I want to see if it ties into the Alien franchise at all, which I doubt it will. Who knows? We'll see. Boom. The Predator. Number eight, uh, New Mutants. New Mutants. I love what Fox has been doing with the mutants lately. Uh, they're killing it. They're not afraid to do things differently with uh, like Deadpool, Logan. New Moon seems like a horror film, like a Dream Warriors type horror film. That should be dope. So, seven, I have Han Solo, solo film. We're pretty close to that film coming out soon, and we don't have a trailer yet. Um, yeah, so we got Donald Glover as, as Lando. He, he might do good with Lando. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for Alden to pull off Han as well. It's an uphill battle for sure. For me to really care, it's gonna have to be amazing. So, Han Solo, uh, Ron Howard's directing. Uh, he's the rehire. Who knows? It's a hit. It could be a hit or miss. It could be one of Star Wars' first like misses. If it flops, it's the first Disney era flop for Star Wars. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Uh, number six, I have Aquaman. Simply because Jason Momoa is a badass Aquaman. I didn't even care about Aquaman until Jason Momoa. So, I'm on board. James Wan, he's a dope director. He knows how to capture atmosphere on film. He knows how to direct. He's a good director. Aquaman is DC's only film this year, which I think is going to be a good thing, considering, you know, quality, not quantity. And James Wan is known to put out quality material. So, let's go. Number five. I got... Avengers Infinity War. Let's go. I'm just I'm just ready to see this shit, to be honest. I mean they had us wait ten years for Thanos. He better be a badass. They have a lot they have a lot to pull off in the Infinity War. That's why it's not like my most anticipated because I'm not trying to like get let down. I'm trying to keep my expectations kind of medium. Cause I know it has a, a lot to live up to and I don't know if they're gonna be able to hit that. Hit all the marks. I just don't know if they're going to be able to do it. We'll see. Uh, Josh Brolin is Thanos. So, like, I have faith in him. But as far as, like, the MCU is concerned, like, all their films are starting to, like, blur together. So, let's just get it done. Let's just get to Infinity War. I want to see it. Uh, yeah. Number four. Number four. Dark Phoenix. X-Men Dark Phoenix. Why is this my number four? I really don't know. It's just, I feel more excited for it recently than most other ones on this list. Um, I really like the younger cast from Apocalypse. They really nailed the young cast, I think. I kind of wish, uh, like, I wish Jubilee was in this new one. I don't think she is in it, though. But it's, it's, it's whatever. But I like the Dark Phoenix story. And I think this might be the last X-Men Fox movie, so... We'll see. Number three, most anticipated, is Halloween. I'm looking forward to this movie for a few different reasons. Not because I'm excited to see it. Uh, it's just because I'm excited to see uh, Danny McBride's take on it. And like, but the one thing I'm I don't like is it's not canon. It's not. It's only canon to the first movie, so it's not really canon to me because. I like all the Halloween movies, not just the first one, so I weigh out the canon, and I like the other canon better, so it's whatever. It's like an Elseworld, it's like an Elseworld story, alternate reality, but we all know the truth. We all know what happened to Lori. We already know what happens in uh, Resurrection. That's her definitive ending. I don't care, like, you can't convince me. You can't convince me, okay? Resurrection is her final ending. 
Uh, especially because this new one is not even going to like reference that shit. Oh, just ignore the previous 40 years that you thought she lived. It didn't happen. They're treating the audience like we're dumb. So I'm just that's why I'm, and uh, that's why it's my most anticipated because I just want to see what they're gonna do with it. Like, are they gonna be able to convince me? Is this gonna be like the most badass Halloween movie we've had in years? I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know about that. But I'm really looking forward to it. So we'll see. Deadpool two is my number two most anticipated of 2018 for a lot of reasons. Ryan Reynolds Deadpool perfect, perfect. Um, second reason. Cable. Josh Brolin is Cable. I've been waiting for Cable. Like, I'm hyped up, man. I've been following all of this um, since he was announced. Josh Brolin is Cable. I'm like, man, it's like perfect casting. I'm liking the images that we've seen of him as Cable. Uh, Domino. I'm interested to see how the audience reacts to Domino. I'm open to it. I'm down for whatever, really. Uh, let's go, basically. Deadpool 2. My number one! My number one most anticipated of 2018 is Venom. Ah, oh, Venom. Oh, we are Venom. Yeah, man. Venom. Oh, but he's not in MCU, so this movie's gonna be trash. Just stop. Just stop right there. I don't care. Uh, this movie, in the MCU, not in the MCU, it could be better. What if this movie's better? Now, what does that mean for the MCU? I don't care if Spider-Man is not in this Venom movie. I really don't care. It's not about Spider-Man. It's about Venom. Venom is the most badass character. Almost better than Spider-Man. So I don't care if Spider-Man is not in the film. And the reason why... And listen, I'm going to tell you. Sony owns Spider-Man. And, and Disney is just leasing him. Okay, Tom Holland is both Sony's and Marvel's Spider-Man. Amy Pascal does, does not plan on recasting Spider-Man at any point. Like... As far as she's concerned, she owns Spider-Man, which is Tom Holland, which is the backdoor entry for Venom to live in that world, that reality that was created in Homecoming. It's not the MCU. You're not going to have Iron Man cameos. It's not going to reference anything from the MCU. But the only thing that they share is the same Spider-Man. So if Spider-Man is not in the Venom film, that's fine, because he's dealing with the Avengers right now. He's, he's dealing with the Infinity War. And Venom's taking place in San Francisco. So... It's not going to cross paths. We're fine. Tom Hardy as Venom. Let's go. Let's go. I think we got Woody Harrelson in this film. Michelle Williams. Riz Ahmed. Let's go. I'm, I'm so down. I Like, pff, a Venom film? People are complaining about a Venom movie, people. How are you going to be complaining about Just be happy we're getting a Venom movie. I don't care for Sony. Sony, you know, they fucked up. They fucked up before. But they know, they know they can't fuck up now because they're doing business with Disney. So whatever they do makes Disney look bad, whether it's connected or not, because they're already doing business together. So let's go. Venom, my number one most anticipated film, 2018. Those are my top 10 films of 2018. You may or may not like the list, but it's my list. So it is what it is. If you don't like it. I don't know what to tell you. What do you think of my top 10 list? Comment below in the comment section and make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, top 10 22.